Welcome back to GDPG. Oh yeah, we're here fighting the boss. Children of Mordo, going in with, what's his name again? Kevin. Kevin, with 29 health. Goat man monster. And no vampirism, so. No vampirism, no so. health gain. Oh, already, Thanks. told you, 19 damage. This does not bode well for you. No, it does not. So do you understand? Oh my, yes. Just escape forever until you do that. So he's gonna keep chasing you until he, if, until he does a melee attack. Mm -hmm. um, and then the moment that he does an attack, his actions refresh over and uh, he, he switches to a, to a follow or to a different action depending on your distance from him. <sighs> Remember you got axes and shit, son. Ooh. It's true. Just don't get too overzealous with it. Oh, he gonna get you. Mm, I'm gonna get you. Oh, At least smack him you. once every so often. Oh, ho, ho. get out of there. Poison. See, the poison, if you win, it will be because of poison. Where'd you go? All right. Oh, you got this. You got this. Take that. Take my axe. Okay, so your axe isn't poison. It doesn't? Nope. I thought he was already poisoned. Which is he why was. I didn't. Nope. Dodge too soon. Man, I was doing okay though for only getting hit once. I wanna kill this guy so bad. You dived in You cave found boss. a mysterious egg. Um cool. Well, let's see what uh, all this is. Come on, come on, come on. Give us something. Mushrooms fix puppies. Mushrooms fix pup mushrooms don't nothing? fix puppies? Nothing? You're giving us nothing? No, but I wanna know about the puppy and the fixings and the Man, really? That's disappointing. <laughs> I just wanted to fix the puppy. I just want to fix the puppy too, man. Uh, <sighs> well, you get to level up five times now. Yeah, I do. Or we can check out Linda. You know what? Let's just take a quick look at her. And uh, Have you got to play her at all? Yeah, I, I played all her right. in my personal playthrough. That's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's it's cool. It's so cool. she's level one. She only has her bow. Uh, so go ahead and start firing a little bit. Um, fire like just straight at like to the left or the right, like straight on. So when you get near a wall, you'll notice occasionally that your arrow just appears above you and shoots. See, see, how it's a little bit off. Uh oh, that occasionally hmm. does matter because I'll notice there will be times I'll be hitting a wall and I'm like, eh, come on. But uh, so that 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 is one thing that. To the developers, I recommend just work a little bit on the path. I mean, that, that does seem like it's probably a just like a coding error. Yeah, or, or yeah like, it's not a big deal. It's just like one of those things. Is like ah, occasionally it will shoot a wall that I'm next to instead of the enemy. Though to be fair, like if this is what they're considering to be alpha, like I would have expected more things like that. It's, yeah, this, right. Like, the first like considering that's minor. the first like actual piece of like real. <laughs> advice I've realized besides the acid pool like that's 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 why I'm like I'm calling you out dead mages this, uh, <laughs> this is you're cheating this is not an alpha build no this is totally a beta it's either that or a vertical slice you know um, and I've mm -hmm. noticed this is really common with a lot of early access games or Kickstarter games is that they'll it'll look beautiful and stunning and what they'll actually release for the public to play is basically a vertical slice that would be the beta um yeah, and like traditionally fair. beta is when you're when basically all the primary mechanics of the game have already been implemented um and the general idea of the game is basically the whole foundation is that the whole skeleton is already yep. there everything is like gray boxed and, and ugly but the whole point of beta is that that is your polishing phase. That's when you put all the pretty art in. That's when you make all the the you know level design tweaks and and system balances. Like you're not changing the systems at that point. You're just like tweaking. Everything should be set and ready yeah. to go. It's, it's 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 a lot of tweaking. Polish and art usually. Exactly, and that's actually often when uh Boom. oh this is the the hyper. Did you just scan it because you killed the monsters? Or because you gained a level. That would be weird if it was you gaining level. I, I think it was killing the monster, to be honest. But yeah, Boom. I'm like, like shooting almost what? You're having trouble killing right? like one bat, and now all of a sudden you're just <laughs> um, nothing. 
like it was nothing. Right? It basically was. not So those mushroom traps, I feel, are basically there for her because, yes. I, I man, agree. I, uh, they're the most useful thing. Well, they, it's, it's interesting because they hurt the other characters in terms of, like, they are an obstacle that get in the way that can actually get you hurt. Like, it hurt you a couple of times in your playthrough. Oh, yeah. Um, and, and with her, it, they are almost exclusively a benefit. There are um, some abilities actually. Oh, acid already. Oh. There are some abilities that um, that will accidentally trigger them too, and that can majorly screw you over. Especially because when it's always like there's a lot of let's see activated. It's Super. like you you um, you. Ooh, all right. Uh, you you're when you're surrounded by all those those all the monsters, and you're like, okay, we got to use this ability because it's a big you know range attack. It's a, it's a huge AOE. Um, and then you'll end up accidentally hitting that. You don't realize at the moment that you've triggered it because you're surrounded by so many enemies, so you go to escape and then you get hit by it, and it's very powerful. Yeah, that's fair. Oh, no. These guys already? One thing I will say that I really, really like about Linda is that... Um, her so dodge is beautiful. Her Look how far she goes. It's not very fast, but she goes far. I mean, it needs to be, right? Because she's yeah. a ranged character, yeah. so she needs to gain that distance. Disappeared. Oh yeah, you did. <laughs> yeah. Um, but especially, so you basically just hold down the the attack button, and she just keeps shooting. She goes, so you don't have to sit there span the button. It, yeah, but even more so, I can still move while holding down the attack button, and she stops attacking while she's moving, right? But I really like that they don't restrict her movement. A lot of games, I feel like they'll while, prioritize the attack. Exactly, over the they'll keep you stationary until you release the attack action. Yeah, I'll and be then honest. Move again. I didn't even realize that at the it's, time. It is. It makes her so easy to use because yeah. I'm one of those players too, where it's like I get so wrapped up in in like what I'm doing that I forget to take my finger off of the control, and that solves it like completely, and it doesn't feel like it breaks the game. It means I could probably like just keep my hand on the action button all the time and just always shoot um but like i don't think that's so bad i don't i mean it's not like you're really breaking the system no. actually i will point this out in general that is that's a good point you bring up i love the bug goo um <laughs> in general though that is how this the one thing that makes this game feel different from a lot of those other uh similar like games um harmonic slam baby yeah this is the one i was talking about area effects uh stun so the uh I in general, singing basically. In general, your movement is prioritized over your attack. So if you're doing an attack and a movement, or you do a dash in the middle of the move, you'll actually interrupt um, that attack to dash out of the way, <laughs> and that's very important. Uh, very, very important for this game because while it's saying, yeah, once you know, you, once you attack, don't be too uh, too ambitious about it because you'll end up t getting punished by other by creatures. Um, what it gets away with is they they're allowed to um, because they have that system in check where you're able to to dash out of the way or move over attacking that priority. They can get away with making smart AI. These mm -hmm. enemies are very intelligent. They, they know are. to it, they just naturally move out of the way. They have a sense of self preservation. And that's not something you see in a lot of games. And that's generally because, like, I feel like that's probably for a couple of reasons, but AI is, is single-handedly one of the most difficult things to program in a game. Um, especially with a game that has, like, you know, these enemies aren't on a set path, you know? Um, but I imagine the other part of it is that if you have, say, like, a hundred enemies on screen, and they all have separate, like, AI root, like, behaviors, that's probably a lot of processing power for the computer to chug through. Yeah, that's through. true. <laughs> uh, so, Watch like, out for prisms. Oh. I don't think that sends prisms. Oh. Oh. Of course it's on the big guy, although I think I just got him stuck. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we also just figured out it's based off of how many times you hit something, not based off of how many enemies you kill. Ah, or maybe even like, well, I guess it's not how long you're shooting for, but maybe that increases the chances of fury. So, like, if I am shooting a constant stream of arrows, mm -hmm. um, it fills that, like, gauge faster than if it's just, like, a one-off one arrow. So she has it and Kevin has it, too, right? Or did you ever... Kevin's is, is more fluid than that. Okay, that's um, fair. Like, his is almost immediate. Because I don't think John has that. I don't or think so Or if he either. does, 
I don't know how you trigger that. Obviously, I'm not good enough to pull that off. I mean, but... it could even be something that you have to just unlock. Because, like, oh, um. he starts off with the shield, right? And we have to unlock the abilities for the other guys? Maybe mm -hmm. his is sort of in the reverse order. It could be. It could absolutely be. You know, one thing I, I didn't realize at the time either is that that does make John feel like he is the veteran. He's been doing this for a while. He already knows his special ability because he uses it on a daily basis. Yeah, and so I think that's kind of like one thing that's pretty it. cool about him. Yeah, yeah. and like, it's it's great too because it's not broken. It doesn't actually make him more powerful than the other characters, but it, it defines says a lot him, about his character. It defines oh, it I'm defines him as a character a lot. Oh, look at that. Now I just shoot down the line and just 300 them. Or, you know, fail at it. It'd be really funny if you die here because the episode's almost over. No, no, no. I feel like I keep getting... all. Oh, I'm probably getting webbed. Maybe that's what I'm... You know, the with. webs were surprisingly effective against her. You would think that for a ranged character, it wouldn't matter. Yeah, I and... almost feel like with the other characters, I, I had an easier time. Um, oh, ooh. potion. Yeah. Well, that's a good stopping point, I feel. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, at the end of this uh, this recording session, um, we, should just, uh, we should come up with a question. I think, you know what, this question is going to be to everybody who may have played this game or uh, has been considering playing this game um, on behalf of, uh, of Dead Mage here because um, we love their game and we think yeah. this is great. It, it uh, has so much potential. I'm really so excited good. to see what the future development is going to be like for this. I do not mean to do that. <laughs> So um, their game got uh, about uh, a, a little over a hundred thousand on Kickstarter, is that which what is it was? that's really good. Very, very good. Very successful Kickstarter. I don't know how big their um, team is, but I hope that's enough to actually like afford that, like enough people to work <laughs> on this for a long period of time. Because that's that's one of the biggest crimes on on Kickstarters. People just ask for too little money just yeah. because they want to make their goal. But man, you gotta like make enough money to live. But so, anyway, I, so I guess the question... No, that's fine. I guess the question then is, um, for for a game like this that was successfully kickstarted and backed um, and wildly successful as it was... Shoot that explosive arrow. Um, for, boom, for a game like this that was successfully backed, uh, how do you feel uh, the pre-alpha or the pre-alpha build or the alpha build as we're playing right now? Or as um, we're calling it, the beta. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how do you feel like uh, this game has turned out? And do you, looking at a game like this, if you've never backed one before, do you, do you, can you look at this? Uh, we backed this what probably about a year ago or so. Um, do you think yeah, that wow. the 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 money that you would put into a Kickstarter, knowing that maybe it won't succeed, when you see a game like this, do you can would you look at that and change your mind and go, yeah, this is definitely worth it? I guess is. Ultimately, my question is: Do you do, would a game like this change your opinions toward uh, Kickstarter if you had any before? I think that's a really good question because this game so far is sort of a pinnacle of, of like some of the glorious stuff that can come out of backing yeah. a Kickstarter. And it's like I had never heard of Dead Mage before. I never, I don't, I didn't even look at what they they had, they a had few done. Decent games under yeah. their belt. Yeah, and this so, is not their first by any means. I, I didn't think it would be, but at the same time, like. I still had never heard of them or seen their games before, and it's like I still trusted them because it looked like they really understood what they were doing. Yeah, and like, and you that can doesn't, tell that they kind of do of people, know what they're doing. It's... But but that doesn't work for a lot of people. Like, there's a stigma against a lot of Kickstarter projects, thinking that you know if you're not coming from a AAA pers like background, then yeah. you're probably never going to finish your game. It's like that's not true. I've seen plenty that haven't. Plenty I that will haven't, I but... will couple our question or finish it off by saying this. I have spent. Uh, almost fifty dollars on kickstarting this. I, I spent like I just I, I saw it yeah. and I looked at it and I was with Rachel and, and uh, my wife and uh, she's usually she, you know she usually looks at something and goes oh cool although she usually gets on to me for spending too much money on games <laughs> because I already have too many games but she looked at this and said all right uh, let's do that one <laughs> and it was it was just sold like that to us so and, and we we were so excited about it that we both I didn't even realize you got the the alpha. Oh yeah. Man. Access also. Oh, yeah. I got it because I was like, I just I got oh, it. I always I, I always tr I always try to get into the alpha or beta. I just that's my thing. So um you know yeah at the end of the day, uh, is this sort of one of those good games that are game changers for people that naysay Kickstarter? Yeah. <laughs> those guys. <laughs> those peeps. Those peeps. Look at them smoking that cigarette cigar pipe. I think mm. it's a pipe. 
I don't know, it's hard to see. Uh, no, it's totally a pipe. You can see Maybe it kind of is a divot. A double smoke. But anyway, be sure to vote. If you want to see more children in Mordo, we're probably going to check out future builds at the very least. But if you guys really, really want, um, we, we'll would, keep we will happily keep playing this We version. didn't even beat the boss. We don't even know if there's more right. after the caves. Yeah, right. Are there more stages after the caves? <laughs> How do I fix the puppy? How do we fix the puppy? The cub, actually. But thank you for watching, everybody. Uh, be sure to vote if you want to see more of this. Vote on anything else you see, and check out the Facebook page for any of the goofy stuff that we did in between the scenes. So the goofy stuff that I did and you made fun of me for. That's pretty much how it goes. Bye, y'all. Bye. Bye.